me tell you, there is no spring in Southern California. Uh, we go straight. Actually, there's two seasons in Southern California. We have autumn, and we have summer. <laughs> um, and the autumn, you know, it's not colorful like like back east. But anyway, it's a scorcher out there, and I just came back from a mini uh, vinyl adventure. Um, I've been trying. I've been trying to um, branch out a little bit. I'm kind of in. I'm kind of in a rut as far as uh, basically. The, the main places I go are, there's two different locations of Goodwill, and there's a super thrift store called Savers, um, so I, I tend to go, go to those, you know, um, basically the most frequently. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to branch out, I think in one of my last videos I, uh, I had some records from a different place, uh, um, Antique Mall. So, today I, I decided to try out a couple more antique malls. Um, the, well, one was actually just an antique shop, and the other was an antique mall. Um, the first one, um, actually I'll do them in reverse order because the, the antique shop had the better records, basically. Um, Alright, so my second stop was, was uh, uh, an antique mall, sorry, <laughs> and I, I'm crazy from the heat right now, an antique mall that was ne um, next to uh, Forget Me Not Antiques, which is the one I covered in that um, video. Um, this one is Flamingo Thrift and Antiques Mall. Um, both of these antique malls, they're, there's, let's just say there's a dingy quality to them. <laughs> but anyway, you can still find great stuff, you know. Yeah, so I, I, I shouldn't really knock it. Um, yes, but this was Flamingo Thrift and Antiques Mall. And I, I started getting a little discouraged because I, I found, um, a few places in there, a few um, uh, dealers in there that had records, and but they wanted like uh, like retail prices on these, and so I was getting a little discouraged. Like I had picked out um, a Rolling Stones album. I forget which one offhand, but I was really excited about it, and for some reason I d didn't initially look at the the price sticker. It was, um, uh, yeah, shocking when I ended up looking at it. Uh, it was, they were asking $30 for it, which, you know, Rolling Stones said, yeah. Um, but for that price, it should have been in better quality or better condition. Anyway, so I was, I was making the circle through the store, and then I found some more, like, tucked away in a corner. And one of the ladies there says to me, all the records are, are 50, 50 cents each. I was like, oh, well. <laughs> so, um, I did find some, and they're, they're, in, they're in decent quality. So, uh, I keep saying quality when I mean condition. They're in decent condition. <laughs> I don't know why. So anyway, I'll go through these quickly, um, because already I'm four minutes into this. I haven't even shown you a record yet. Sheesh. Alright, so the first one, we have Grover Washington Jr. Inside Moves. Who's that? My wife is going to be excited about this one. Rod Stewart, Footloose and Fancy Free. And I did not pay $3 for it. It has, um... Uh, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. His version of You Keep Me Hanging On. Um, those are the ones I recognize. My wife is a bigger um, Rod Stewart fan than me. This one I had to get just because, 
Just because it's... Yeah. Just take a look at that. <laughs> Les Dudek. I've, I've never heard of him. Uh, he appears to be a guitarist, which is good. Um, and there you have the back. Um, I, I like the song titles, and that's... That's one of the reasons I got it. Jail of Bamboozle. Lady or Nasty. One to Beam Up. There could be a, a Star Trek reference there. Avatar, Old Judge Jones, Baby Sweet ba Baby, What's It Gonna Be, Zoro Rides Again, and I Remember. Yeah, so there's that. And, oh, this album is Say No More. Say No More, Say No More. Then we have... Did I just show you one? Yeah, I did. Uh, then we have another uh, Grover Washington Jr., Wine Light. Now this one, the cover to me, screams, screams of smooth jazz. I See, I'm not all that familiar with the Grover Washington Jr., so as far as I know, I, I, I'm pretty sure he is smooth jazz, but this album cover just screams smooth jazz. But that's okay, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just need some smooth jazz. And on vinyl, you know, it's going to sound great. Um, my wife will also be very excited about this one. I'm actually excited about this one as well. John Denver, Rocky Mountain High. Who's that? <sighs> the world is missing a really fine singer. His, his voice is great. Then we have the Jay Giles Band, Bloodshot. And you see, these are the, the condition, at least of the covers, is, is uh, you know, they're pretty, pretty uh, worn out. <laughs> as long as the vinyl plays, that's all I care about. And I've said that in many videos, so you, you, you probably say, okay, Greg, that's that's enough. We 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 get the point. Um, I'm just trying to see if I recognize any of these songs. No. But that's okay, it's Jake Isle Band. Um, this one I would have never bought, except for the fact that it was 50 cents. Um, Lover Boy, Get Lucky. This one I'm, I'm pretty darn excited about. Joe Cocker, I love his voice. I'm... Singers I like, they they tend to have um, non-mainstream voices, and so, some people would actually consider them bad singers or uh, having a bad voice or something. Um, but I like voice with character, so there we go. Um, I guess that's self-titled. <clears throat> and then the last one I got at Flamingo Thrift and Antiques Mall. This one looks interesting. As you well know, I am very much into um, international music. Um, so here we have the Baja Marimba Band with their album Heads Up. Let's take a good look at that. It just looks like my kind of thing. It's a great cover. <laughs> All right, so my first stop was actually an antique shop. Um, I actually met the owner. She, she said she doesn't usually uh, work there. But, hi Barbara, if you're watching. <laughs> I, I'm sure you're not watching. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, she didn't have a whole lot of vinyl, but what she had was pretty good. So, I picked up uh, several there. And they were not 50 cents, but they, they were three bucks a pop, so I'm, I'm pretty darn happy with what I found. Um, let's just put these in significant order here. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's great. All right. So the first one. Oh, the, this antique shop was called Vintage Variety. So, um, and she did tell me that she's bringing out three more boxes of vinyl uh, within the next week. Be dangerous. 
Anyway, the first one we have is Elton John, too low for zero. And this has, uh, I'm still standing, too low for zero. I guess that's why they call it the blues. Um, yeah. Pretty excited about that one. Now, some people would laugh at me for liking this band, but I've liked them ever since I was quite young, so bear that in mind. Um, Chicago, 17. There's that. And this has Stay the Night, um, Hard Habit to Break, uh, You're the Inspiration. Yeah. I like Chicago, come on. Um, then, I was very excited to pick up this double album, and originally she was going to charge me for two records, because it has two records in it. And But then she said, I'll just charge you three dollars. So, I was very excited about this one. Electric Light Orchestra, out of the blue. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even sure what songs it has on it. Um, it's over, I think, through that one. Um, a lot of these, I've probably heard them before, or in some of them, I've probably heard them before, but I don't recognize the titles. Um, Electric Light Orchestra, Out of the Blues. I was very excited about that one. All right. One of my favorite bands has always been, and again, this was since I was young, but this one I'm not embarrassed to say. <laughs> um, but it's kind of, it's kind of a guilty pleasure because they're not what you would consider like a great band, although some would argue that. Um, yeah, but we have Cheap Trick in color. I love how they're just they're just you know real real characters. <laughs> That's what, the back is upside down apparently. Oh, I see. In color and in black and white. <laughs> That's clever. I just now noticed that. Um, this has like uh, I want you to want me. That's the only one I, I, I recognize offhand. I'm sure I've heard them all, but there you have Cheap Trick in color and in black and white. All right, and the last one, also Cheap Trick at Budokan. I assume I'm saying that right, but anyway. Uh, this one also has The Gate Pulled. Just, uh, it's a live album, so. I'm not huge into live albums, but for Cheap Trick, I'm willing to make an exception. I love them. I love Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick at Budokan. Plus, this is a, a classic live album, so you can't really go wrong with it. Um, yeah, those are those are my vinyl finds. Um, cheers, Slange. Um, salud. <laughs> All that good stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep trying to find these these uh, more obscure locations to find vinyl, um, just because, like Goodwill, occasionally I find some really good stuff there um, that would help me branch out my collection. But a lot of it is the same kind of stuff. Um, a lot of classical, uh, the old time singers, um, some. A little, a little bit of country western, not much. Um, but as you can tell from records I buy, I like a very wide variety of music. So, yeah, I'm trying to broaden my collection to meet my my interests. All right, so just under 15 minutes. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.